Hey guys, this is Ms. Morgan. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me about number eight on the homework. If you look in your book on page 131, this is practice exercise 3-4-B. And it says here on June 1st, so I'll write that date down, you'll know that in accounting dates are very important for every problem we do and they get more important as you go to advanced accounting classes so always pay attention to the dates June 1st 2014 herbal company received eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars and whenever you see that word received and you see the dollar sign that means they received cash and it says they received cash for the rent of land so they actually received rent money for land for the next 12 months and when you receive money ahead of time we're going to call that unearned journalizing the I mean excuse me journalize the adjusting entry required for unearned rent on December 31st well if we want to go back and figure out what happened June 1st 2014 we would have debited let me get where you can see it debit cash and we would have credited a liability called unearned rent which is an unearned revenue account for the full amount of cash that we collected because at the time of collection the money had not been earned and GAAP generally accepted accounting principles use the accrual basis of accounting and so I'll go ahead and write that GAAP requires the accrual basis of accounting and that means that revenue is reported when it is earned and expenses are recorded when they are incurred and this goes along with the matching principle because you're going to match on the income statement all the revenues earned against the expenses incurred within a certain time period so when you first record this receipt of cash unearned rent is a liability account because you owe them the right to use your property okay and so for the next 12 months that property is tied up and you owe them that right because they paid you that money okay and that's called unearned rent which is a liability and then what you've got to figure out is at the end of the year that's when adjusting entries are made okay so we've got from June 1st to December 1st to figure out how much money sorry I'm writing off the page on the screen June 1st to December 1st and if you count months you'll say the whole month of June July August September October November December is seven months worth of rent that we have actually earned in December now the money was received in June we've already debited cash but what we've got to do now is look at these two T accounts and so let me get a new sheet of paper if I can figure out how to do this on the computer and I'm going to draw a T account here for unearned rent to show you what's going to happen and remember we collected eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars and that's a liability account which will go on the balance sheet but at the end of the year we have actually earned seven months worth of rent we won't earn all the money until that contract is up that 12-month contract so we've got to figure out and most of you said you did this you would say 18,000 divided by 900 I mean 18,900 divided by 12 18,900 divided by 12 would have been 1,575 per month and then you're going to multiply that by 7 because you have earned seven months worth of money okay and that would be eleven thousand zero two five so at that point you're going to adjust this account unearned rent 
and you're going to put it in an account called earned, okay, a revenue account called rent revenue, okay. And so what you're going to do is the amount that was earned, you're going to take it out of unearned and put it in rent revenue, and that would be 11,025. 11025 over here. So the journal entry, and this is what they're asking for in Cengage, the journal entry would be debit unearned rent for 11025. And you're going to credit rent, let's see, in Cengage, they actually call it rent revenue. for 11.025. Now remember, you still have a balance in unearned rent for the amount of rent that you haven't earned yet. So if you balance out this T account up here, you'll find your ending balance for unearned rent. They don't ask us that in the problem, but you would need to know that if you were going to create a balance sheet. So you would take the difference between those numbers and it would be 7875 is still unearned at the end of the year. That means that this amount will actually be earned at the end of May in 2015. So you can kind of look at the timeline, and sometimes it helps to actually sketch out that timeline and then write down December 31st, end of the year, to figure out what happens here from June 1st until the end of the year to figure out that seven months. So I hope this helps. Also remember, Chapter 3 only has five adjusting entries. You only have five adjusting entries to um, read about and learn about in Chapter 3. And if you want to read more about unearned revenues, look on page 113. Hope this helps. I'll talk to you soon.